Thank you very much. We applause. and I play guitar. I'm Huss and I play drums. Uh, I'm JC and I am the singer and keyboard player. Okay, so I know the secret intel, but your names are not actually Huss and JC, are they? That's the secret. Is yeah. that to avoid the confusion of having, having, having two names? Joshes, yeah. Yeah, have you ever thought of like a Spice Girls kind of thing, like a posh Josh and a like, sporty Josh? Or? We have, but they couldn't agree on who would be Feisty yeah, Spice. Yeah, that's what we wanted. We both wanted Feisty Spice. <laughs> How would you like do a feisty off? Like, how would you decide that? Actually? I'm just well, sassy. After a few beers, yeah. yeah. Um, One day we will resolve this issue, but currently, yeah, we just go with us. Okay, well, let me know when you find out because I'd be interested in <laughs> okay. what adjective you choose. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, how's the tour gone? Yeah, it's been really good. Um, been to a lot of uh, cities that we've never been to, towns and cities that we've never played in, and yeah. Um, yeah, it's been it's been fun. It's cool to play the songs in this stripped format as well. Yeah. Because usually when we perform live, it's a lot bigger. I've well, got a full drum kit, and yeah. um, everyone has a lot more on stage. But um, yeah, it's cool that the songs work in this environment, and it's nice to play them. Yeah. You're saying like, because obviously you went on tour the other so I'm guessing they were like massive <coughs> venues. Like, how does it feel having like the more intimate venues where there is obviously a lot less people? Yeah, it's cool. It's like it's cool to see like you know. The, the eye contact with like people at the front is yeah. sweet. I was saying that I always find these kind of gigs more intimidating in a way because yeah. you can really see people's reactions as opposed to the, the bigger shows where it's kind of like a, a wall of, of people and you can't necessarily focus in on, on one person. Yeah. yeah. But it's been cool. I've enjoyed it. Yeah, you said there's like some days where you're like in a fair few places in one time and it's a bit bit intense but as a, as a whole has it been good? Yeah, it's been yeah. a good challenge. Like yeah, there's, like, there's some days where we've got like three three gigs to do in a day and it's like you've got to rush between like the places and yeah. getting there and it's like quick sound check go it's like you have much time for doing stuff in between oh around. no nothing. oh no literally yeah. we've, 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 we've stopped at a couple of like student unions and, and, and had some uh, sandwiches sandwiches, sandwiches and um, what did we have there burrito in that Liverpool was good. which was diesel. a what what's Newcastle that diesel what's Downing the loofers I don't pronounce THs I'm sorry Downing loofers um, loofer it, yeah loofer. loofer like shower loofer but, there we go yeah Darling Luthers, they're two pound and they're strong low Carl, Carlsberg, Carlin or Carlsberg, basically beer cider and some black currant cordial. And that's oh, diesel. dangerous. Well, we've got two more gigs to do, and I think it'll be funner <laughs> with uh, a couple of diesels. A couple of diesels down. A couple of diesels down. So, if you finish tonight, what's the plan when you get back? Quite a long drive from uh, we've got Durham is where we finish tonight, and then we drive because uh, we're based in London. Yes. Um, so we've got the long drive. Might you know, enjoy a big night in Durham. You know, in Durham. They've got a nightclub that was like the worst nightclub in Europe. Really? Yeah. Well, we'll be going there 
Yeah, well, I mean, we can schedule is that it, in a couple of it, diesels in Durham. Um, yeah, when you were doing our set down with us, you did say that you had done a song that you've not played at the other ones. Mm. Was mm. that true, or have you been saying that every That was true. No, that's, yeah, we did. Yeah, that's true. We played <laughs> okay, it in... I, I looked in the eyes and I was like... We ran it in, we, we did a little sound check. So okay. we ran it in, like, we, we tried to remember it in the sound check. Yeah. But other than that, that's the first time, yeah. Okay, yeah. Well, well, how come we went to do it today, just like the last day? Just mixing it up, I yeah. think. Just keep just just keeping it fresh and keeping us on like you know on our toes. Yeah. And uh, yeah, uh, keeping much. Did you change fit. anything up at any of the previous ones or? We've we've switched out a couple songs. Uh, we've kind of kept with the main kind of like the main set list. The main set, then, yeah. and then just there's been a couple where we've just pulled and like switched. And okay. But it keeps it, it interesting for us because we're playing the same set 21 times in 11 days. <laughs> so yeah. it's nice to change it's it. So we do it a couple times a day at that. Yeah. That is yeah. It there. So you are signed with Red Bull Records, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Yes. So your tagline when I was looking was "Get your hearts broken by uh, flaws." What, what are you doing to break hearts? Really? That was, Who said that? Who said that? that? Red Bull Records. Said if you Google it, it comes up and says "Get your hearts broken by flaws." Oh dear. So I don't know what you've been up to to be breaking hearts. What was your hearts? Causing trouble. Causing trouble. No, no, no. I, I'm, that's the first time I've heard of that actually. Oh, really? Well, we're um, sorry if we've broken anyone's heart. Um, no, we tend that to, wasn't we, our intention. We tend to like um, write a lot about like I guess previous relationships that may have broken down or okay. you know that kind of like there's there's there's, there's, a, there's a kind of running theme oh, in a few of the uh, just <laughs> throwing water all over the studio. Um, no, yeah, it's kind of like a running theme with a few of our songs that are, are like kind of heartbreaky kind of um, uh, songs. Um, so maybe that's what they were getting at. Okay, I, don't I don't know. know if I dismissed any like really juicy goss about the band or something, but like, as a collective, <laughs> like about some antics on tour. But no, we're no, no, no juicy no. goss. Uh, fair enough. But um, you are quite a recently put together band. You've only been together like two years, haven't you? Yeah, just over two years. Yeah. Over two years. Yeah. What has been your proudest achievement so far? Because I think you've squeezed so much into those two years, like a lot more than I think a lot of other bands have been for like, way longer. I think for I think for most of us actually um, we got to play at Radio One's big weekend. Yeah. That was amazing. Um, a lot of bands that we look up to played there, so seeing our name on the poster alongside those acts was crazy. Yeah, yeah. it's like that's like a lifelong dream, isn't it? Yeah, like, for seeing sure. your name up there with like yeah. your idols. Yeah. So that was really cool, and then we've spent quite a lot of time in LA as well recording the album. So that's always been great fun. Yeah, because yeah, um, that's where the that's where the label are based. Yeah. Um, so we go out there, which is yeah always pretty surreal. Mm. Um, yeah. So is that a collective? Your, is that all definitely your best, best moment? Um, yeah, well, recently we, we just got off tour with uh, Maximo Parker on Germany. Yeah. And those were huge venues, um, and it was really cool to play to a German audience and interact with them. Yeah. Um, that was, I mean, for me, that was the most recent highlight. That was pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah it was sweet. Cool. Are you thinking of any more world tours? Because on Spotify, your highest listeners often Copenhagen. When I was doing. Mm. It's pretty cool the Spotify tool that we can like check where everyone's listening to our music. Yeah. So Copenhagen listeners were coming at some point next year. That definitely. I've never been to Copenhagen. I've before. been. It is wonderful. It's a lovely place. Exclusive. Exclusive. <laughs> yeah, no, we will. We'll get there. Hopefully next year. Okay, yeah. awesome. Yeah, that'd be great. Um, when I was looking again, I saw that your promo pick. For, not for, promo pick for mm. coffee sessions was used with some like shaky heads. On like the picture. Oh yeah. That was you know when you took that picture, was it literally just clicking out to just kind of like? Basically, mad? no. Someone like, tried to break into the come, apartment come. that we were in, um, and we all turned to look, <laughs> and they took the picture. Anti we turned the, the wrong way. <laughs> turned the wrong way. <laughs> and everyone's just like, huh? What? <laughs> we're all very confused. I think no. we did actually have to do what you said. We were there like. I can't remember. We were so dizzy after the photo shoot. You have no idea I the toll it takes. Shaking your head like that. Because I was looking at it and I was like, is this edited or is this literally just like a long experience? No, it's, yeah, it's, it's just, just like, head. <laughs> yeah. Go for it. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. If anyone <laughs> wants to recreate that photo, that is inside school and how to do it. <laughs> so, yeah, you released some songs over summer, didn't you? Some singles. Mm-hmm. Ready for your new stuff. Is it next year? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. no, you've got some new stuff coming in November. Yeah, so we have a new single coming out on the 17th of November called. I did it a week early, it's been on my birthday. Oh, oh man. We can chat to the label, we'll change it. Okay, fine, so. it's just like... Exclusive. Yeah. Exclusive. <laughs> um, Second yeah. exclusive. Exclusive change. Exclusive, exclusive, exclusive. Um, <laughs> no, yeah, the single's called This Could Be Real, uh, and that's going to be out in November. And then after this Coffee House tour, we go back into the studio to finish the album. Yeah. So that will be finished in December, um, and will be released next year. So that's our focus. Okay, any kind of time scale for next year, or is it just... 
We said that first half. In the first half of next year. Okay. Oh, first half, hopefully. Yeah. So what's the plan for the second half? Oh, tall extensively. Go to Copenhagen. Yeah, yeah. Copenhagen. Copenhagen. The whole next half of yeah. next year. Yeah. Get Copenhagen. our Copenhagen. Deal. Deal. Okay, awesome. So, yeah. I recommend people going to see you live, because honestly, I mean, it says quietly, but you were one of my favourite coffee hour session performances I've seen. I feel like Thank it you. was really like innovative. I feel like we've seen a lot of acoustic, just guitar and microphone, which you know are amazing. But it was so nice to see something different, like your crazy little drum thing. Like <laughs> never seen one of them before. Yeah. Like, but yeah, I really did enjoy it. So Thank I recommend you. anyone coming down to see you at your small tour. I recommend everyone going to Copenhagen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Come along. Cheap flights as well to Copenhagen. Have it? Yeah. I heard it was one expensive. Oh, right. oh well, yeah. When you eat there. Oh. Can end that was really <laughs> bad. I wasn't near the microphone, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> Technical issues, on noise. Yeah, check out. Yeah, work on that. <laughs> okay, so check out your new song next month on November 17th and look out next year for the new album. So thank you for coming in and talking. Thank you. Thank thank you for having thanks a lot. Thanks. Thank you very much. So yeah, we got time for one more song. Um, thanks again for uh, for having us. Uh, we've been Flows. Uh, find us online, uh, Spotify, Apple Music, <laughs> Instagram, Twitter. Uh, it's just forward slash Flows. So F L A W E S. Um, this next song uh, is called Look No Further. Uh, yeah, thanks a lot. We'll see you soon. i uh-huh.